This week in writing, we're going to kick off our next writing unit, which is going to be opinion writing. So today, in order to shift our minds from informational writing to opinion writing, we need to talk about what's the difference. So today we're going to be exploring opinion writing versus informational writing. Now, in order to understand the difference between opinion writing and informational writing, we need to check out a few mentor texts. So I have a page here from a book called Your Amazing Brain, and I'm going to read you a few paragraphs. This section is called Brain Basics. Please follow along. The average brain weighs about 3 pounds, or 1.4 kilograms. It looks something like a large, soft, wrinkly walnut. For the brain to function properly, it needs a constant supply of oxygen and other materials. A network of blood vessels constantly supplies oxygen to the cells of the brain. If the brain goes without oxygen for even a few minutes, it may suffer permanent damage. The brain sits inside the skull. The skull is a hard, bony covering that protects the brain and prevents brain damage. We're going to use Marvelous Cornelius, Hurricane Katrina, and the Spirit of New Orleans again as one of our mentor texts. So I'm going to read you this page you can see on the right hand side of your screen. It says, at each home, Cornelius sashayed to the curb and shimmied to the hopper. Unloading the garbage, not a single praline wrapper ever stayed on the streets. And those spotless streets, oh how they sparkled. Now would be a good time for me to let you know that those two pieces are really different because one of them is strictly informational while the other one is informational but it also has some hints of the author's opinion in it. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to examine what makes something strictly informational and what makes something sort of opinion based. Now when I zoom in on the sentences in this book I'm seeing a lot of information. For example, it's information that the average brain weighs about 3 pounds or 1.4 kilograms. That's not somebody's opinion. It's not what they think. They know that for a fact. Scientists have measured the weight of a brain and that's what they've discovered. Now, it's also not somebody's opinion that for the brain to function properly, it needs constant supply of oxygen and other materials. They've done scientific research and they've discovered in many cases that without oxygen and other necessary materials, people die. So this is all information. This is factual information that the author has included in this text. So this is purely and strictly an informational book. Now, we all read Marvelous Cornelius together, and we discovered that, in fact, Cornelius was a real person. He actually existed in the world. He was a resident of New Orleans, and he was actually a garbage man. And he really did believe in doing your best at anything that you did. And that, for him, was cleaning the streets of New Orleans. Now, we also know that Hurricane Katrina actually really did happen. That's a historical event. And... That's not someone's opinion. But when I reread this page, and I'll do it right now, I'm thinking that parts of it are actually opinions. So listen closely and see if you can find out what I'm thinking. At each home, Cornelius sashayed to the curb and shimmied to the hopper. Unloading the garbage, not a single praline wrapper ever stayed on the streets. And those spotless streets, oh, how they sparkled. Now, it's true, like we just discussed, that Cornelius was a garbage man. So his job was to clean the streets. And I'm certain that at some point, he probably did clean up praline wrappers from the streets. But it is somebody's opinion that the streets sparkled. It's not a fact. Streets don't sparkle when they get cleaned, but they are clean. So that part is actually an opinion. Now, after comparing those two texts, it's starting to make sense to me what the difference is between informational writing and opinion writing is. Informational texts seem to share information or things that can be proven, whereas opinion pieces share what people think. And sometimes we don't all agree on the same thing. We have our differences 
and we have our similarities. So opinions are sort of based around those. Now, today you're going to be watching a Brain Pop Junior video to learn more about the difference between fact or information versus opinion writing. And this week we're going to start generating some ideas that we might be able to use as topics for our writing.